it's me Pam Vindy. I hope you're doing well today we got a bunch of snow again here in Michigan so the roads are a little snowy but that's okay I'm staying inside and doing a little crafting I have some mail here I got um, a beautiful sympathy card from my friend Donna in Spokane look at that pretty washi tape and um, so whatever we face we're never alone, for God takes our sorrows and makes them his own. And really sweet message inside. And I just thought it was so pretty, so I thought I'd share that with you. Thank you so much, Donna. I love it. And then another little, um, a happy mail from Marcy with Creators Call Shop. And I have, haven't looked at it yet, so I thought I would open it up, and let's see what we got. I did see, um, I know Stephanie with um, paper, coffee paper, scissors, got one too, so I have an idea of what it looks like. I have not looked at it yet. Um, this is Tim Holtz paper. I don't have any of it, and that's really pretty. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous paper? I believe that is. And it has, it's tied, and then it has really cute little um, paper uh, clothespin. Isn't that cute? And then it's tied with this string. <clears throat> Let's open it up. Oh, isn't that so cute? Oh, I love this paper here. That is really cool. So it's like a little um, booklet. I love this idea. Isn't that cute with a pocket here? And you have a beautiful um, tag. And it looks like she added the label. She cut out this beautiful flower bouquet and then added some tape across it and with collage papers isn't that beautiful i love that we have a vintage um flash card find and look at the roast turkey with stuffing that looks very good and there's the recipe that's so awesome might have to make these at one point um and then there's pockets with little velcro this is like it feels textured and then inside we have some little goodies oh beautiful um cluster oops isn't that pretty with a little gem and you might have looked used a die and placed that all together with these fabrics very nice. Oh, pretty there too. And a little Pictionary Junior card. Just put it in like this. And a crown charm. And a butterfly. I'll probably add that there. And then there's a little um, die cut of a flower. That would be pretty here. So, I will use these pieces and this die cut. Isn't that cute? Either way. So, I can add a few things to this. That would be fun. Thank you, Marcy. Then we have this envelope. And we have, oh, look at that mushroom stamp. I love that mushroom stamp. Oh, there's some mustard seeds. Have a faith as small as a mustard seed, and a mustard seed grows large. So that's awesome. I don't have any mustard seeds. And here we have some really pretty stamps. I love those. So I can add them. 
Oh, here we go. Here it is. Yes, Mark 3, 30, verse 32. What shall we say the kingdom of God is like, or what parable shall we use to describe it? It's like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. And um, we also have the king will reply, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So that's what signifies the mustard seed. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that so much. And then here, all the pretty t uh, tags here. Love this idea. This is awesome. Then we open it up and we have a tiny, tiny little flashcard. Isn't that cute? And one of these little Rolodexes. Beautiful paper. We got a fun label and a flashcard and some tickets in blue. I don't think I have blue tickets. Awesome. And we have a pocket here. Pretty paper. Idaho flashcard because she's from Idaho. There's a word. I love uh, I love words, a new learning of words. Coterie. A intimate group of persons with a similar purpose. Angel invited a coterie of fellow stamp enthusiasts to a stamp trading party. It's cute. And then a time learning card and a little how oh, cute that is. A little place to journal or and then we open up oh look at this beautiful envelope it's got velcro on it there's a note inside for you pretty look at this vintage papers the handwriting so cool. Look at this beautiful card. That basket. Love that basket. Oh, P. PVE for my initials. Pam Van E. Thank you. It's cool. And then, dear Pam, I want to thank you for your generosity in donating two journals to the Ukrainian Center as I was collecting for the journals and made in September, October, also known as the Mustard Seed Project. So that's why the Mustard Seed. Um, I was amazed and humbled by the response and kindness of all who pitched in to contribute. You helped in a tangible way to ease the hurt of several families forced to re relocate to my area. I made this folio as a gift for you to hopefully express how much I appreciated your help. I'm a little behind in getting this out. With my two trips last fall and the holidays, it meant... I had to work more slowly than I would have liked. Again, thank you so much. I'm so glad we become friends through YouTube. Big hugs, Marcy. That is so sweet, Marcy. And it was so kind and thoughtful and generous of you to have the project to give to the Ukrainian women at the Welcome Center of those that have relocated to your area um, in Idaho. I was glad to do it. This is so pretty. I might tear that, add that right there. And I was happy to do it. And I'm glad you thought of the idea. And here's our pocket. I've got a pretty little snowflake. Sparkly. Cute little Santa um, playing card. Joy. Isn't that cute? How pretty that is. And the envelope that goes with it. This is so awesome. I love it. Thank you very, very much. I was not expecting this, and it was a real fun surprise. I'll put the, this back on, but I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I have one more thing to share, and it's another small haul. From Timu. What's the name of it? 
Temo. And I got, well, I just got this. It's foldable mobile home desktop stand, like a bracket, because I thought um, when I film my dollhouses, um, I don't want a big arm. It's really hard to film the dollhouse um, because, you know, it's just small and hard to get in there. So... What does this do? So you're supposed to, oh, that's flat. And then you hold your phone here. Okay, can I figure it out? Oh, all right. So then it goes like that. And that would come out. This, I'm not sure if this, I don't know if this comes, oh! There we go. <laughs> that just come up a little farther. So, oops, sorry. It comes up. You know, maybe not quite six inches. I don't think it comes up any farther. But you know, if you want to film something, you know, in the dollhouse, that I thought that might work. And then it folds up. So, put your phone right there. So that's a foldable mobile phone desktop stand. So I thought I'd give that a try. Uh, what else? And then from Timo, I got a uh, two-piece rattan chairs. Um, and somebody did tell me on my channel that I have a hard time with scale, you know, when it's centimeters or whatever. Or, so, uh, um, I, somebody said that you can just maybe scroll over uh, the on the website the item and maybe get the inches or the sizing better. So I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, I thought I want I have a little uh, dollhouse. I thought it would be really cute someday to make a fairy uh, house out of. And so I thought these would be really cute to put in there. The scale is pretty little though, so I'm not sure. Um, this is maybe an inch and a fourth tall by two inches. So it's a little smaller than I thought. One and a fourth by about, um, about one and a fourth tall. But they are cute. I'll figure out something. So I got that. And this is, I think these are little books. And I did make uh, my own handmade miniature books, and I'll show that uh, another time. Okay, so this, yeah, these are little books for my bow house. What we got here. Oops. Okay, here's a little book. And I could, you know, make it maybe a little label or I could, you know, embellish it more. It's got pages, so I got a blue one, a green one, a red, and kind of a burgundy one. They have a textured cover. These are about a little less than an inch. It's about three fourths by three fourths. A little bit cute for my dollhouse. Oh, I got some of these um, garment pins or bulb pins, whatever you call them. I got the multicolor pack. Multicolor, yeah. Or journals to hang charms from. Um, oh, the scale of this is really a lot smaller than I thought, too. 
yeah, I've been getting things and they've been either really small or really larger than I wanted. I thought this would be cute for like the fairy house, the steps, but these are really, really tiny. So we'll see if that will work or not, but they are cute. And these are about an inch by half an inch tall. Cute though. I'll figure it out. And I think I have two more things from Timo. Oh, I like these. These are, I feel like metal pans for the, uh, the farmhouse dollhouse that I have and they're yeah they're metal so that is a good deal like a black metal these are perfect so they look like little iron pans a little grill pan awesome it's another type of grill pan you could hang them up too because they got that loop there. Very well made. I'm very happy with these. Little skillet. It's like a cast iron skillet. And a very nice baking. Oops. Baking pan. This is about from handle to handle, about one and a half. Those are cute. Love those. Adorable. Very well made. I like that they're metal. Oops. And the last Timo thing I ordered. Oh, this I think is a rice cooker. It looks kind of big, but um, let's check it out. This might be a 1-6 uh, size, not a one twelve that I, my dollhouse is, but let's see. That's cool, like a crock pot. There's the lid. Oh, that is awesome. Look how fun that is. That's fine. It'll just be a very, very large um, crock pot. It kind of looks like my crock pot that I have. That is awesome. It's, it looks like a very, very pale green. And then there's this little scoop. I love it. Very awesome for the farmhouse. Dollhouse. The bottom is about... Um, about not quite an inch, maybe seven eighths. Very cool. I like the lid that comes off. So, yeah, that's it for today. And I want to thank Donna and uh, my friend Marcy. I will put Marcy's um, YouTube channel in the link and. Um, I just want to thank you again and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.